Seventh grade, lesson five, and this is on place value through hundred trillions. Um, and then reading and writing whole numbers. So let's first talk about place value. Okay? Place value is very easy to understand in math because um, it has a pattern. So let's start with our decimal. Okay? And we're going to move to the left of our decimal. Okay? And every group is going to have three in it. And then a comma. And then three. And a comma. And three. And a comma. And three. Comma. And we just keep going. Okay? Now, do you remember what this one is called? The uh, ones. Ones. Very good. This is the ones place. Okay? And that starts us off. Um, it's kind of if you're looking at money. For example, how many dollar bills would I have? Three one dollar bills and 24 cents, which is after decimal. But we're not we're looking at after the decimal today. We're looking at before the decimal. Okay? So the way that I, it helps me understand what starts there is that. The three ones. Okay? So this is ones. And what's the next one? Tens. Tens. Okay? And this proves true, too, if I was using money. Twenty. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, how many ten-dollar bills do I have? Two, which would be twenty dollars, and then three ones. Okay, so it just keeps going. And the next one would be hundreds. Okay, and I'm just going to put H U N for abbreviation for hundreds. Okay, and again, if I was doing five hundred twenty-three, this would tell me how many one-dollar bills I had, how many ten-dollar bills I had, tens place, and how many hundred-dollar bills I had. Five. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. Now, this is our units group, is what I call it. Okay, but it helps us understand the rest of the pattern from here on. Okay, do you know what this one is called, Isaac? One hundredths. What? Try again. One hundredths. Try again. One hundredths. Nope. What's this next one? Ten hundred. Nope. This one is the thousands. thousands. Oh, man. You'll remember this. You haven't done it all the time. Stupid. Thousands. Okay, now you remember it's completely simple. Yeah. Okay, this is, I'm going to call this one the units group. Okay, and this one is the thousands group. Okay, da, da, da. okay, and so it always starts here's the thousands, and then my next one is going to be what, Isaac? Uh, ten thousands. Very good. Okay, just like we had tens next, we're going to have ten something next here. Ten, and then you just say what you said here. Thousands. Okay, and then the next one would be 100,000. 100,000 is very good, just like this one, one, two, three, one, two, three, hundreds, hundreds. So we're going to say hundred thousands. Da, da, da. Okay, so this was my thousands group, and I kept the same strategy or pattern. I had my thousands, and then ten thousands, it's hundred thousands. Do you know what my next before my comma is? Uh, millions. Millions, very good, I think. This one's our millions, and it's going to be called our millions group. So I'm going to write mill up here for millions group. Okay. What is the second one going to be? It's going to be 10 millions. Okay. And as you can see, we are keeping the same pattern. Millions, 10 millions. The next one's going to be 100 millions. 100 millions. Okay. And this would be the millions group. So each time we have a new, um, a new one that we started, like thousands, millions. And then we just follow our same pattern with 10 and 100. Okay? And then the next group would be? Billions. Billions. Very good. I'm going to put billions right here. And then I'm going to put a bill right here for billions group. All right? My next one would be 10, 10 billion. billion, following the same pattern. And then 100 billion. Okay? And what would our next group be, Isaac? Uh, trillion. Trillion, which I'm kind of run out of space, but I'm going to put trillion right here. Okay? And so if I were to have a group of three right here, it would be called the trillion group. So I'm going to move down here just to show you. This one would be the trillion spot. Okay? The next one would be called the ten trillion. And then the hundred trillion. And then the hundred trillion. Okay? So that's as far as we're going to go today. Again, these are up here, and that one would be called the trillion group. And there would be a group of three. Okay? 
So it's really quite simple as the group because it has such a great pattern that we follow, three, 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 and three, okay? Now, um, it's really helpful to know that it starts with the thousands group, then moves to the millions group, then moves to the billions and then the trillions, okay? Because that's the one that starts right before the comma, okay? So in the comma, you see a comma, that should tell you that a new group is about to start, okay? So, I'm gonna erase that, and we'll start getting into it, okay? If I gave you this big number, big number, <laughs> okay? And I want to ask you, which digit is in the trillions place, okay? The first step I would take is just start counting back from the decimal is the end, even if you can't see it, and you move to the left. So we go ones, tens, hundreds, okay? Ten. Or if it helps you, you ten. can just go, okay, this one is gonna be the beginning of <coughs> thousands group. This comma is gonna be the beginning of the millions group. This comma is going to be beginning of billions, and this one's good comma is going to be the beginning of the trillions group. It's two. Okay, very good. And so because we know this is our trillions group, the first number is going to be our trillions, okay, the two right here, and then the three is going to be the ten trillions, okay, and this one's going to be the trillions. Okay? Because when we're working with numbers, we go from right to left instead of left mm -hmm. to right when you're organizing them and doing this pattern. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the two would be in the trillions place. Okay, if I asked you, Isaac, which one is in the 10 billion place? Six. Very good. Okay, so he got the clue of the billion right there, that group, the billion, and then he knew that this one was billion. This one was 10 billion, and then this one will be 100 billion. Very good, Isaac. Okay, now, let's move our attention just real quickly um, and talk about putting something in expanded notation. Do you remember expanded notation? Yes, it's like the, expanded. it's like the, um, those, basically the number and you like break it up into like yes, so like five hundred sixty-seven would be like five hundred plus sixty plus seven. seven. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna use the number he just gave us, five hundred sixty-seven. So what we would do is we go how many? Um, this is in the ones, tens, hundreds. So how many hundreds are there? So we'd say five times whatever spot it is in, which is hundreds. Okay, and we're just gonna use numbers because that's what expanded notation is. So this would be five times 100, which would give us 500, which is what this means. Plus six times 10, because this is in the 10 spot. And then plus seven times one, because seven is in the one spot, okay? So if we were to add this, this would be five times 100 is 500, plus six times 10 is 60, plus seven times one is seven. And if I added that, 500 plus 60 plus seven, I would end up getting 567. Very good, Isaac. Okay, but let's talk about a number like this, 25,000, okay? Not too much harder, but it is a bigger number, okay? Are we going to do anything with our zeros? Nope, okay? So zeros aren't really included in expanded notation, okay? But where is this in this located? What group? It's in the uh, thousands. Very good. Our first comma indicates that we're moving into a different group, okay? This is the thousands group, very good, okay? This one is, which one? It's the thousand. And this one is the? 10,000. Very good, so we're gonna start with our two, and go two times, and then whatever spot it is in, which is the? 10,000. 10,000, so we're gonna go two times 10,000, okay? And then plus, this next one is gonna be five times, what spot is it in? 1,000. Very good. 1,000 group, okay? And because these zeros are just zeros, um, we do not finish out with that. So this is the expanded form of 25,000. All right, now, let's do this. 
if I were to give you um, this number, I want you to help me write it in using words. Okay? So we're taking a number and going to say it in words. Okay, and I'm going to teach you an easy way to do this. So we need to review something really quick. Okay? So it's really helpful that we know that the commas are right before another group. So this comma indicates which group? A thousand. Very good. So I'm going to put TH, a thousand. This one indicates? A million. Millions group. This one indicates? Billion. Billions. And this one indicates? Trillion. Very good. Okay. So, okay, I'm not just going to put them. All right, so now what you're going to do is I would be able to say one, and then um, because I know it's in this group, what would I say? That comma means? One, one trillion. Very good, one. The comma means that group trillion. And then you just say the next three numbers. And how you would say that is 380. And then what group is this a part of? Billion. Billion, and that comma means billion. So we have one trillion. 380 billion, and then I don't say anything right here because again, they're just zeros, mm -hmm. okay? But our next one says 50, and what 50 is a part of? Thousand. Thousand, and this comma stands for that thousand. So, um, 50,000, and then we have just 200, and you don't say units um, because we're done, okay? So how I would read this is one trillion, 380, billion, 50,200. That's exactly how you'd say it. Now, um, so if I was going to write this, um, that's exactly how I'd write it, exactly how I'd say it. Okay? Now, one more quick thing I need to share with you. A number from 20 to 100, okay, that doesn't end in zero, we're going to put a hyphen in. For example, if I had, let's think of a number, 52 is in between 20 and 100. So I would say 50-2, that's a hyphen, 52. Now obviously, we don't have to do the ones that end in zero, like 50, because there's not a 50 dash something. So 50 would just be 50. But any number in between 20 and 100, we have to use hyphens. All right, now, so let's work. Isaac, do you want to come up here and write it, or you have me just do it? You want to do it on your paper? What, that? Yeah. Um, sure. Okay. Now, something I want Isaac to remember to do as he writes this is every time he says trillion, billion, million, he has to put commas after that, okay, because that indicates our new group. Very good. So, so far he's written one trillion, and then he put a comma after that because he's done with that group. He's doing an excellent job. Almost done. So what he's got written up here, I want you to see, it's one, thank you, Isaac, one trillion, put a comma, because that's how it is here, one trillion, comma, 380 billion, 380 billion, 50,000, because we skip this one and we go to the thousands group, 50,000, and then he's got 200, 200. So he did it exactly right. Excellent job, okay? So as you can see, we put he put commas every time he went to a new group. Comma, comma, comma. Okay? Very good, Isaac. Very good. All right. Now, where would I place commas here? Where would I place commas here, Isaac? Uh, there'd be a comma between the six and the five. Very good. So he'd go one, two, three, comma. And then between three and four. Very good. One, two, three, comma. Very good. So he did it exactly right. All right. Um, let's try. 
one more. This time I want you to use digits, which are just numbers, digits are numbers. Use digits to write this number. 20 trillion 500 10 million. Now the very first thing I would do in this problem is I know that the farthest this is going to go left is my trillions, okay? So I'm going to start from here from my decimal and move over going all the way to my trillion um, pattern. So one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So this is my thousand, three, million, billion, infinite, Trillion. Okay? And this is my one to the units group. Okay? Thousand, million, billion, trillion. Okay. And so then I know this is the one I'm writing. So I want to put 20 trillion. So this is my trillion group. Okay? And it's 20. Right there. Okay? You see how I put 20? Okay? Why would it be incorrect, Isaac, that I didn't put a 20 here? Because that'd be. You have to fill in the blanks, which right, would that be two hundred trillion. Right, because then we have to fill in something here, and that two is in the hundred spot, so it stands for two hundred. So we would not want to put the two in the hundred spot. We would want to put it where the tens are, which would make twenty. This two, okay? Twenty trillion. All right. Are there any billions listed in this? No. No. Nope. Three zeros. So I would put three zeros. Very good. I need to fill it in with something. Are there any millions in this group? Yes. Yes. What number? 510. Very good. 510. Okay, so I'm going to write 510 in my millions group. Okay, and that's the end of the number, so what do I do with these parts? Fill them with zeros. Fill them in with zeros. So that is exactly how we would write 20 trillion 510 million. Very good. All right. Use digits to write 25 million. Actually, let's do 25,000. Because I want to teach something from that. Okay, what would that look like? Um, 25,000. 25,000. I would go 25, and then I know that this is ones, tens, hundred, thousands. So this would be my 25, and this is my thousands group. Very good. Now, um, sometimes people, if I were to count 800, 900, okay? 800, 900, and our next one would be 1,000, okay? But some people just keep counting by hundreds. So you, sometimes you'll hear 1,000 written or said a different way. For example, 800, 900, they say 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300, which stands for there are 1300s or 1300. So sometimes you may hear, I bought a jet ski for $2,500. $2,500, which is really $2,500. Okay, so it's just a way that some people like to say it, all right? And that is lesson 25.